hi guys today I've got uh, the nature hike uh, cloud up one uh, I'm going to erect that tent today uh, but first of all I just wanted to uh, show you the weight of the tent so we've got some scales here and it feels a very lightweight tent So that's the, the actual tent uh, and the mat. And we're looking at under 1.5, so 1.41 kilogram. And that's for both tent and mat. So with the uh, nature hike tent, I'm just going to put it up now to show you. This is obviously to give it extra protection and actually came as part of the deal. As I've said in previous videos, the quality of this is uh, it's really good. Um, we'll just lay the tent out. The beauty of these poles are that, as I explained in the previous video, they all pop out and click into place. So there we have the, the pole. These clips quite easily clipped in. I have seen video footage of this uh, being erected with the fly sheet first and then getting inside to attach all these if the weather was really bad. So that's effectively the, uh, the inner of the tent up. And then we just get the fly sheet.
the uh, front two corners and on the back. Oh no, yeah, forget that. On the back, there's a little buckle that straps it in. The rest are pegged out. And there we have a windy day. But it goes to demonstrate that actually you can move the tent around to get it in the right location when you want to. So what I'm going to do is just put a couple of pegs in this side. Now actually, these corners do have uh, buckles, so those buckles are going directly into the tent, I presume they just sit there whilst we peg it in. It's really just about tensioning it all out once it's corrected. But you can see these buckles just click into there. There's also buckles for the ground sheet, so if you don't have the inner tent, you can just set the fly up without the inner tent and it'll still buckle. And at the side, the inner tent has a clip on the fly sheet and that just tensions the tent inside to ensure that the walls come away from where you're actually sleeping. Now I'm not going to do these properly yet, I'm just going to peg them in so it keeps the tent down. You can see how it started to take shape and, and in truth you'd end up going around and just adjusting it and once the straps are adjusted it would be right for the next time. Around. Mentioned in a previous video you got these little straps so when you're pulling your pegs out very very easy it's just a finger into there and then pull out. see it taking shape and it's um, once you've pegged it and then tensioned it into the right location you can see how it's just taking on a nice firm shape and then uh, if we get round to the front we can see how we uh, peg out the front of the tent so that's just a simple case of finding your, your spot. Like anything it probably all needs an adjustment before you actually got yourself pitched down for the night but the purpose of today's video is just to see how we sit with the tent and there you have it.
got to say, first time I've uh, used it, and I'm really impressed. I was impressed when I unpacked it, and I'm really impressed with it in its upright position. Um, this is just a vent, so that you can uh, somehow. So that just lets the air flow through the tent. You've got plenty of room at the bottom of the tent as well to let air in. Uh, if I was pitching, I'd get everything done and then I'd go around and retention everything. I'm not going to do that. It's, uh, it's enough for what uh, we're doing now, just to show you the tent. And what I'll do is we'll just have a little look inside. Well, zip feels fine. Um, it's got little Velcro, extra Velcro tabs on the tent, obviously just to keep it uh, really well let down. And, uh, and here we have the tent itself. So we have a mesh panel, uh, plenty of mesh around the tent. And uh, again, zip feels smooth, feels fine. So that just lets you have a look inside the tent. Let's look inside the tent to see what it's like. And uh, for a one-man tent that's a one and a half kilo, one and a half kilo weight, that's quite a roomy tent. So again, we just have a quick walk around. Let's see. So you can see from the. Uh, a very quick erection of the tent. Um, I don't know how long it took actually, but it, um, it was quick. That was the first time. I'd do it a lot quicker next time. I haven't even tensioned these out properly because there's adjusters on them. Um, but for the purposes of this, that's how we're going to do it. I like it. So I'll just uh, have a look back inside here. And uh, I'll actually get inside the tent just to see what room we've got. Always take my shoes off. Never go in with your shoes. I think these could be tensioned out a bit better, looking at it. Um, but again, I would have tensioned it up anyway. So, so when I I look at that, um, I'm five foot nine, and uh, my feet are now touching the bottom of the tent. Um, and you can see the distance you've got from the head to the uh, the opening. And in truth. I'd be up here somewhere. So plenty of room at the bottom. Um, when I actually get to camp with it, I'll show it with the mat and everything in. But for the one-man tent, it's, uh, it's, it's quite roomy. Um, plenty of room just for putting my motorcycle gear. Also, if the weather's not so good, the weather's not so good, I can, st I can sit up in this and be quite comfortable about it. As I said to you before, there's plenty of mesh. Uh, you've got pockets uh, in and around the tent, um, two side pockets, well that's it, two side pockets, but that's good enough, and uh, I have to say, it's a absolute positive.